next. And Maui police are tasked with searching for victims of the disaster to recover those who lost their lives and to notify grieving families. In an exclusive interview, I spoke with MPD chief John Pelletier. For 10 grueling days and nights, Maui Police Department has been in go mode like nothing before. I don't think there's an agency that uh, has shown more grit and resolve in the face of what they're facing than the men and women of MPD, period. It began a week ago Tuesday when again and again NPD officers went above and beyond to get people out of Lahaina and up country. The officers drove around with their PAs telling people to get out of their house. If people refused, they actually got out of their cars and pleaded with people to leave the area. I know officers came. I have an officer from Kihei drove in, grabbed a severely burned individual, drove them to the hospital, then drove back to the scene and helped rescue a family of four and got them to safety. I asked, is there anything even in these first 10 days they've learned that they'd do differently in a next disaster, as we're still in drought, fire risk and hurricane season? He says they don't know yet, but. The fact that we know we're dealing with at least 111 and counting fatalities, for me to say we would not do something differently or anybody to say that um, is, is not the right answer. You, you want to constantly look at what's working, what's not, and how can we get better. We're going to certainly do that with this. All MPD staff are safe and accounted for. However, 15 lost their homes. They knew they lost their homes and they were still out there saving lives. KHON has verified that a variety of missing or unaccounted lists all still hover around 1,000. How is the process of tracking that list improving? So we've created what's called the MINT, which is the Morgue Identification Notification Task Force. We've got, we've got our doctors, we've got our x-ray techs, we've got dentists, we've got the best fingerprint experts in the country just came in today. We've got artifacts that are being collected, gone through. We've got DNA that's being done, and we've got the experts in the field. We've got experts from local as well as our federal agencies and federal partners that were coming in to scrub all of the missing persons reports. Just yesterday, the Gallinato family allowed KHON2's Christy Tomashiro to share with viewers the heart-wrenching moment an MPD officer told them their father had perished. I cannot fathom the strength that it must take for your men and women to do that possibly hundreds more times. How did they prepare for that? I am blessed to have folks on this agency that have the strength and resolve uh, that is really uh, legendary in, in a sense. And I grabbed uh, the lead individual that is tasked with this and I actually grabbed him and I told him I, I said I'm about to ask you something that nobody should ever be asked. He drew from traffic officers and detectives used to making death notifications and there's peer support chaplain and mental health services being provided to the force. Also on island to help with the response and recovery officers from other counties. I've got folks from HPD as well as Hawaii County here right now. Many residents and viewers reaching out to KHON said it took too long early last week to get supplies out to West Maui and to lift traffic restrictions on the bypass road. And how can those kinds of issues be better balanced a little more quickly in the future? So let's just let's just actually take it to the event. I needed to get people out of it and I needed to get first responders and emergency crews into it. And so uh, we made sure that residents that wanted to leave could leave when we made sure that emergency supplies that could get in got in. Before becoming Maui County's police chief, Pelletier was in Las Vegas. He was incident commander at the nation's deadliest mass shooting there in 2017. Now head of law enforcement after the nation's deadliest wildfire. Did any aspect of that Vegas tragedy prepare you for this? Uh, I think it's a, I think it's actually a fair question. Um, I'll tell you this though, um, the honest answer is I couldn't do this if I didn't do that. There's an incredible group that I got to be blessed and privileged to work with in Las Vegas. The group that I get to be with here now, I would take that team anywhere. And my full interview with the Chief is on khon2.com.